Hi guys, so we'll be do doing the Vagrant task. So um, click on this. This is where you have all the resources to install the virtual machine and the Vagrant. Okay, so read through this. So um, Vagrant is just um, like it's going to act like your another another terminal instead of using your um, your web terminal. Okay, so it's going to act like your normal terminal using your normal computer command prompt but instead of accessing files from your command prompt it's going to create a virtual command prompt in which you can be using to um, run your codes without affecting the data on your um, on your computer that's just the simplest way i can explain it to a 12 year old okay so okay um so if you want to install vagrant on OS, if you are using Mac, uh, Mac OS operating system, you would click on this link to first install the virtual box and then you install it. You download the Vagrant, you install it, and then you once you install both, okay, you now open your terminal, your normal terminal on your um, uh, Mac operating system. You, it will start with this um, dollar sign, then you run this command vagrant box add ubuntu so what you are doing now is that you are adding um, um, ubuntu to the vagrant box that you downloaded here okay and then you would run this okay and then you run this command vagrant init ubuntu um, focal 164 and then it will generate a vagrant file Base Ubuntu. So this one to generate this, and then once you are done, you then go Vagrant up, and then you do you it, you wait because this will take time. All these things will take time, and then you do your Vagrant SSH. You wait for it to bring you back to a prompt. I'm going to perform it on um, a um, um, what's it this Windows operating system. So because I'm using a Windows operating system right now, so. And you see how it works, and then you do this, and then it will bring you here. So all this step, you only do it once. So whenever you want to access your vagrant again, you just do vagrant up and vagrant SSH. But let's just start, and there are so many things right to do. So um, Windows, right? So download VirtualBox from this link. So you click on this link, and then. It opens and then we are downloading for windows right so the file is downloading and then what's the next step you install virtual box okay so go here we have our downloads here still is not completed yet Download now. Yes, completed. So let's open it. Open file. It wants to download. So we are going to install this in our computer. Preparing to install. So just press next. And then don't change anything, just press next. Yes, yes, install. So we have the password 7.0.8, and I think you should have the same or the higher version. So, all this will take time. I will try and see if I can fast forward this part, but let's wait. Okay, you are done installing. Then we do it finish. And battery box should be on our PC, I guess. Let's yeah, look at it. Version uh, Oracle battery box. So let's go back here. If we install that, let me just wait for some seconds.
okay so back here so the next one is now to download vagrant and install okay so just click on this link yes so this one is for mac and then click on for windows and then this version is what we will download so just click on it click on download Okay, good. So let's just open the file and use it. Yeah, we'll double tap on it to install. Yes, do you want to run this file? Yes. Okay. Next, I accept. So we are done with uh, this. So just click on finish. You can restart your system for the configuration changes made to begin to take effect. Click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart. So um, let us manually restart, okay? When we are done, okay? Or let's see. Let me see what we are doing next. Open the vagrant and open the command prompt. So, because we are going to be opening vagrant, so let us just stop it, okay? And we start, okay? So, okay, so we've restarted our system and let's continue with the task, okay? So, back here, we are in Windows, what's going on? Okay, so we've done this, we've done this, and then we restarted our system, right? So open the command prompt and add this Ubuntu focal image to your boxes. So you open your command prompt. Is that how you use PowerShell? PowerShell. Okay, or command prompt. Well, for me, I'll use the command prompt. Okay, so you have this user slash C user and then your name. Okay, and then uh, so open the command prompt, add Ubuntu focal image. Okay, and then you have a warning. This step can take time. Okay, so you have C, this is C, users, this is users, Julian the name arrow sign and then you add this copy you copy this copy to paste on the command prompt where you are using windows just press the um, just um, right click yes right click just right click once and then press enter so you wait it's going to take a lot of time okay so he said one in this can take time okay many other images are available here so we don't need all that so we just wait for the command prompt to do its thing and then once we are done with this it's going to get it's going to load all this stuff and then we do vagrant in it open to focal once it's from okay so let's go back to our command prompt and we are done right so we go back and then um, where is that we directed it's not yet 
okay i think many other images i think this is one of the images you can get okay so you create your first virtual so once you have this prompt back you know copy these vacant this copy it and then go to the command prompt and then press the right click and then press enter okay and then come back Right, so we are here. It will generate vacant file with space. Okay, you don't have to execute this command line every day, only once to create a new virtual machine. So we we'll just do this once. Okay, so once this one is done, then we will do this to avoid issues with the last vacant of this. You will install this plugin. Okay, so once we are done, we we'll install this plugin. Let's just copy it down. And then let's copy it and then let's go back to our command prompt. Okay. So I think this one is done. Then we enter vegan plugin install this right. Then we press enter again. So the last two, once that one installs, then we do vagrant up. We let it install and then vagrant ssh and then you are done and if you are using ubuntu you don't need to install anything you just run all these commands on your system sudo this sudo that vagrant this vagrant this vagrant up and vagrant ssh okay so we are done so all we do now is Vagrant or so whenever you want to use vagrant you just run this command vagrant or okay to wake vagrant that's the function of vagrant or right so wake it up okay to start the virtual machine okay to start virtual machine and then and then this one will take you inside the virtual machine okay so vagrant or will take some time to load to take some time. Yes, we are done. So we just type big grant SSH. Okay, so we've done that. So you should receive this prompt, and then this is all. So the vagrant is working now, and we can then um, we are on our um, Linux operating system now. So all these commands can work now. Clear. Yeah, we have nothing in the file yet. Um, yes, that's all. So in the next um, video, I'm going to talk about um, how to solve the task. So this one is just how to set up your vagrant. Okay. So we'll talk about how to solve these tasks um, that you have on Vagrant, okay? So we'll see.